present panel is a newly confirmed early work by Rubens in his workshop, and it shows the Holy Family. We've got a heroically stocky, bearded figure of Joseph on the left, a sculptural virgin in the middle, and around her a very Rubenesque well of movement of all of these forms. To the right, you can see a surprisingly muscly baby Jesus, pulling a dove, who's looking a bit surprised, away from the clawing hands of another toddler, which is identified by the sheepskin he wears as St John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin. Behind Jesus, you can see St Anne, the mother of the Virgin. And Rubens has so carefully suggested the thinning grey hair and the strokes on her single tooth. Rubens painted this around 1609, where, rather poignantly for the figure of St Anne, his mother had recently died. In fact, he was in Rome when he got news that his mother was dying, so he dashed back and he discovered she was already dead, but he found Antwerp ripe for an artistic transformation and he was just the man to do that. So to Antwerp's contemporary eyes, Rubens' style was bold, brash, and it stood in contrast to the refined classical modes of other Antwerp painters. But he was such an instant success that he was able to buy a large Flemish house, which he instantly began transforming into an Italian palazzo. This picture shows also that same restless energy, but has that Rubens showing off the trends and what he's absorbed from south of the Alps. So the dove here actually symbolises the Holy Spirit, and in a very Roman way, by it being plucked, it alludes to the violence that's going to be done to these two children, John with his head chopped off and put on a plate, and Christ obviously suffering on the cross. Indeed, the whole circular sense of movement in this composition, where springing up through the leg of St John the Baptist, arching through the shoulders of Joseph and Anne, before finally plunging down again through the outstretched leg of Christ, is redolent of another composition, a very famous composition from this time, which is the elevation of the cross, now in Antwerp Cathedral. The way in that the cross is being pulled one way, pushed another, and the many forms in motion, is rather like the tension here of the two children's bodies as they fight over the dove, pulling it this way and that. Indeed, the figure on the lower right of the elevation of the cross has his leg bent back on itself, which pushes him off the ground. And that sort of muscular tension here we see if we look at the leg of St John the Baptist in the present panel where Rubens so obsessed with logical definition of form and musculature has decided to add in an extra extension of the knee and then the calf of St John. And you can see that Rubens is working directly onto the composition because the red of Mary's mantle shows through making this Rubens's prime extant version of the composition.